Today we're looking at the Edelchrome Flex Tilt Head. But first, some unboxing. Yes, unboxing. <laughs> Not much can beat the smell of German engineering, although made in Turkey. Packed into a small yet heavy box after a long journey throughout Europe. Edelkron is a German brand specializing in high-end camera equipment. More specifically, sliders, jibs, dollies, and what we're about to look at today, one of their heads. In the box we find the Flex Tilt Head a quick guide and a lifetime warranty should you be unlucky and damage your unit. The head is a CNC machine aluminum body and feels incredibly solid, with some weight to it. Neatly packed into the body of the Flex Tilt Head, you find the Allen wrench, one of the upgrades from version 2. After fiddling with the head for a while, I was able to wrestle the joints out of their initial positions. Out of the box, it's incredibly tight. I was able to release the Allen wrench eventually, although this is not the way you were supposed to do it. There are no buttons or loose parts on the Flex Tilt Head. The only thing you adjust is how heavy the friction is between the joints with the screws on the sides. The head uses Edelkron's constant friction technology to prevent the joints from losing its grip. Attaching your camera couldn't be easier. Simply expose the attachment wheel under the top plate and mount the camera by tightening the quarter inch screw. We had no issues mounting a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K and the Sony A7S III. These camera bodies are 722 grams and 699 grams. So double the weight on those with the lenses and you're still within the limits of what the head can handle. The head should manage cameras as heavy as 2.5 kilos or 5.5 pounds. If you need to mount a heavier camera rig, Edelkron sells the Flex Tilt Head Pro, which can take up to 6.8 kilos or 15 pounds. The head I'm looking at today is really great for bigger DSLRs. Adjust the joints depending on the camera weight and your desired resistance. As long as you keep the center of gravity above the center of the base plate, the camera shouldn't tip over. If you're on a tripod, you have more flexibility, of course, because the weight of your tripod would help to hold the setup. Now let's look at the main use cases for the Flex Tilt Head. Easy height adjustment. Let's start with the easy height adjustment. It lets you adjust the height of your camera. Like Philip Hare points out though, it's just as easy, if not easier, and faster on a tripod. Precise and smooth panning. Panning with the Flex Tilt Head is super smooth and has a perfect resistance. Again, this is just as simply obtained with a tripod, especially with the more expensive heads. Instant vertical shots. Now this function was something that we weren't really sure about before we got our hands on the unit. Was this a feature that you would need and couldn't you just as easily do that with the tripod? Now, the thing is that many photo tripods have a quick way to go from horizontal to vertical, while most video tripods I've used, they don't. So that means that there's way more rigging time involved going from horizontal to vertical, while with the flex tilt head, it's done in seconds. Nifty for the Instagrammers. Bonus features. Now, we found some additional use cases for the Flex Tilt Head that I don't think Edelkron had in mind when they made the unit. If you extend the rig all the way, you end up with a shoulder rig or a hip rig, much like Edelkron's own pocket rig. If you extend the rig and bend it above your camera, you get a handle that you can use for those hanging shots. Besides keeping the flex tilt head on the camera for added weight, extending it while keeping it hanging down mimics a sailing keel, another way to add some stability to your rig. The top-down setup is already one of my favorites. As a creator who relies heavily on top-down shots for product reviews, I welcome this setup. 
by extending the flex tilt head all the way out to a flat rig with the plate ready at the end for the camera. You make sure you get the perfect angle for your top-down shots. Adjusting the tripod to its maximum, I can fine-tune the angle for the perfect shot. Now this means I can kill the Elgato arm, which had some problems on my desk. And when I'm done, I can quickly release the camera from my rig and use it for those juicy B-roll shots. We've been looking at the Aelkron's Flex Tilt Head. And I don't think the tilt head was ever meant to replace your tripod. I think this is a good companion. So when you use the strength of the tripod combined with the strength of the Flex Tilt Head, I think you're just getting the best of both worlds. They, they work well together. The quality of this head is solid. You spend some time with it to find the correct resistance, but everything is super smooth. And after working with it for a little while, you will end up using just one hand and quickly change position into something that you like. On this little device, you have the quarter inch screws to connect your camera. And there's also an adapter. So if you have a coin, I don't know anyone who has a coin. So if you have like a screwdriver, uh, the adapter is screwed in right here. The spirit level that's on the side here will let you know if you're leveled. Good to have if your tripod doesn't have it. Now my tripod has, has one, uh, two actually. And this one here as well works in addition. So it's just kind of a quick way to like glance down and see if you are still leveled. The Allen wrench connects to the base. And if I read the manual from the start, I would know this, but it goes straight into the body or the foot of the flex tilt head and it's magnetic and you won't lose it. One thing we did discuss when we first unboxed it was that it could be nice to have some sort of a quick release system maybe something like the Orca. But after a while, it, we, we found that it was really fast to work with anyways, so it doesn't, doesn't really stop you. If you wanna pick up some of Edelkron's merchandise, feel free to use my affiliate link in the description below. One fun thing is that if you don't wanna buy this for $99, you can buy the 3D print version instead and print this yourself. So if you have a 3D printer and two million hours to spare, then you could print this yourself and build it. I assume you noticed that my friend Philip was in on the video today. He helped me with the gear and the filming. We're both a part of the Lufoten Film Collective and we shoot together, we edit, we grade together. We're just having a blast. So he helped me out filming this review. Thank you very much. He is also a drone pilot and I'll link to his Instagram and at the end of this video, I'll show you a sneak peek of some of his amazing drone shots. So make sure you check out Philip's Instagram. If you like this content, of course, the thumbs up is appreciated. If you don't like it, dislike, and also let me know in the comments why. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, uh, agreement or disagree <laughs> agreements or disagreements, uh, just let me know. And uh, yeah, see you around.